Thank you, Curricula, for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to prepare for the new school year. So let's get started. The first tip that I have is to adjust your sleeping schedule. Recently, I know that a lot of us haven't really been waking up early or going to bed early. At least for me, it's been a struggle to wake up early every single day. But if you get those hours in and try to set alarms and force yourself to wake up and go to bed earlier, then you will definitely adjust to the school timing at a much faster pace. A smart thing to do is to definitely refer to your bell schedule and see what time that your school starts or your period starts and try to adjust it based on that. This really ties into that mental preparation for the new school year. Most of us have been really out of it because of quarantine, so hopefully creating a much healthier schedule will allow you to be a little bit more prepared for what's coming up. The second tip is to determine your organization system. So this falls under two categories. The first category is planning. You decide whether you want to do a timetable planning system, a to-do list, the bullet journaling system, or even the calendar system. I actually recommend that you mandate a calendar system because I feel like that is the best way to look at events and deadlines. The second category is the curriculum. So in order to prepare for what you're learning, I recommend that you first determine whether you're going to be using a notebook, your iPad, both folders or binders. In this way, you are able to determine what you need for the upcoming school year. And if you have no idea how you should do this, I recommend watching some YouTube videos. I will soon be releasing a video on school organization so you can keep an eye out for that. Speaking of collecting materials, that is actually the third tip that I have. Definitely gathering supplies based on your organization system and the system that you choose is something that I recommend. I mean, we all need supplies for school, so I guess that this is a given. The fourth tip is to gather external resources that you could use in order to better your performance in school. So this can include apps or programs that are mainly digital. For instance, there's this app called Alarmy that I have been really loving so far. It's basically like an alarm, except in order to turn off the alarm, you have to do a few tasks and the alarm just doesn't stop until you finish. So it's a great way to kind of help you become more aware of your sleep schedule. Another one that I use on my iPad actually is called Fantastical Calendar, where it acts as a widget and as a normal app where I can look at upcoming events. I can also recommend a company that will definitely help called Curricular. So this is actually an online service and the company that is currently sponsoring this video. So Curricular specializes in empowering students to thrive in their curriculum and beyond. They mainly help high school and college students. For the high school students, they help you get admitted into your dream college by assisting you guys in your personal statements and professional revisions. To go more in depth, it is founded by experienced admissions advisors and they provide personal statement revisions for the price of only $20 an essay. So each essay is reviewed through the integration of something called AI technology and professional revisions. They review it extensively and holistically in order to maximize the students' chances of getting admitted into their dream colleges. So just to give you guys a quick rundown, this is a sample essay that students would obtain when getting their personal statements reviewed. So as you can tell, the highlighted words is by the AI technology software that scans the personal statements first to look for detectable keywords, paragraph structure, and grammar. And following that, students will get detailed comments from their professional advisors regarding their overall application essay. Extensive comments are provided to the right of the essay and there are more at the bottom where the advisor will provide very specific comments on how to improve the essay. So when reviewing the admission essays, the advisors also look for authenticity and address the prompt in very unique ways in order to improve the statement to appeal to the admissions officer that you are trying to impress. And the advisors at Curricular definitely know what admissions officers are looking for and they will definitely be able to provide personalized feedback to improve your chances of getting admitted so personally i think this is a great use of twenty dollars i spend twenty dollars on food alone so being able to contribute that to my education is definitely something that i would definitely do 
They work with students of all different kinds of backgrounds and provide one-on-one -on -one consultations in order to enhance their chances of getting accepted. If you guys are interested, you can go to curricular.org and click on the essay revision button on the upper right hand corner. It's really simple, they just fill out their name, email address, college they want to apply to, and their essay draft, and it will be directed to the payment page. You can also receive a free 15 minute consultation with a curricular advisor in case you are interested. So that is curricular and if you're interested you can go check them out. But moving on to the next tip which is tip number five. Prepare or update your resume which are the things that you've accomplished and to prepare a goal sheet which are the things that you want to accomplish. This ties into the whole getting your mindset ready for school. If you have target goals and reasons as to why you want to work hard at school or do a certain internship or program when you go to school. Preparing a resume and preparing goals is something that will help you develop skills that you need in the real world when it comes to actually networking and it will help you grow more into the idea of going back to school. The sixth tip is to not only prepare your materials, but also the schoolwork that you were assigned over the summer, whether it's emailing your teachers or checking back into your website or even texting your friends. I feel like you will always miss that one assignment. So it's better to be safe and sorry and check that every single class that has an assignment is completed. The seventh and final tip is on the occasion that you are doing homeschooling, which I know majority of you guys are, or blended, this still works for you, you should definitely prepare a good and spacious work area with lots of natural sunlight to get your vitamin D and get your health benefits because now that we are at home, it is definitely much harder to get the natural sunlight that you need. So tailoring your workspace in order to accommodate to the things that you are not able to get when you're actually like walking or going to school is something that i strongly think you guys should definitely take into account what i personally think makes a great workspace is obviously natural sunlight a lot of desk and leg space i also recommend that you have some sort of calming factor whether it is an essential oil diffuser lo-fi music in the background or just an aesthetically pleasing area having that de-stressing element is crucial whenever you're creating a productive workspace. So those are all the tips that I have for you guys at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. I really hoped that this video helped and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.